All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Wednesday, and that means that we're using Cosmos. So I'm stepping away from the reasoning form of it, and I'm I'm going back to the damage, you know. I uh, know that the deck doesn't rely on Farm Girl as much, and, you know, we don't really have to worry about it. Did he pick first or second, or uh, did I pick first or second? I'm not sure. Really not sure. Uh, this hand is not that fantastic. Not at all, not at all. I guess I'll just set the venue, set the energy. I don't want to give away my deck with Farm Girl, because if I summon Farm Girl, then it's like, all right, well, you know, either you have something to hop away with, or you don't, and I don't right now. But yeah, I'm going back to damage. I know you don't rely on Farm Girl, but, you know, Farm Girl is still your searcher. Farm Girl still puts in that work. And all the additional damaging cards did, like, you know, Jarigato and stuff like that, just increased your chance of OTKing. And that in itself is, you know, worth the running of them cards. You know, oh, of course, a blue eyes deck. You know, color me surprised that we're going to be facing some blue eyes. Everybody in the mother is playing the blue eyes deck right now. Everybody in their mother. <laughs> wow, Swords of Revealing Light. Well, that's one way to go ahead and stop Cosmos from beating that ass. <laughs> that is one definite way. That is fine. You know, come after me. You come after me, then I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, activate my emergency teleport. And, uh, see what you do. <laughs> Let's see what you do. Let's my farm girl. And you'll be like, oh, he just doesn't want to take all that damage. I'm just still going to go ahead and attack. And I'll be like, honest? And he's going to be like, fuck. And I'll be like, search? Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. Take that damage. Oh, hell yeah. Give me my search. He's so good. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about maybe grabbing Slip. Just so I can pop the sword, summon my other farm girl, and get that damage in. So, that, that's just too good, that's just too good, and that, and that, and it's like I said, you know, Jared kind of does the same thing, uh, so, more damage, more winnings, you know, that's all, you know, at the end of the day, that, that's all that matters, right, <laughs> just more winning, <laughs> and everybody knows that you love winning, I forgot I was going to get banished during the end phase, I probably should have activated my effect to pop, that was my bad, <laughs> that was totally my bad, I, I forgot, I totally forgot that that's what emergency teleport does, so they went like, yeah, emergency teleport, I got pop that, but I didn't, and I fucked up. So now I can take this farm girl and do it, but then this farm girl will be banished, and over there I won't have nothing. So I guess I'll go ahead and just take it slow, <laughs> you know. Uh, Solomon ain't gonna do nothing. Solomon ain't done nothing good for nobody. Anyway, I didn't talk about the title, unexpected guess. I actually had an unexpected guest, and it was actually really interesting uh, for this person to show up. And if you were wondering, like, who was it? Who was it? It's actually my uh, my aunt, my aunt from my dad's side. Uh, I don't have any aunts on my mom's side. My mom has two older brothers. They have no children, so I don't have any cousins or anything from my uh, mom's side. But on my dad's side, my dad has plenty. Uh, which one's this? Is this the one that gets to search on? card is normal summon, you could add one light to the monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So playing Swords of Zen Light so I don't fuck up your little, uh, lower, <laughs> uh, tuna monsters with, like, the low attack. That's understandable. But yeah, my dad, who I haven't seen in a cool minute, almost as long as I haven't seen my aunt, uh, you know, has plenty of brothers, plenty of sisters, they had children, their children had children. So, I haven't seen my aunt since my 17th birthday. On my 17th birthday, she came over to my house, with, brought my cousins, and we went and got ice cream. And literally, that was like the last time I've seen her. And if you guys don't know how old I am now, I'm 21. Um, almost 21 and a half, might I add, but yeah. <laughs> I'm 21. So it's been that long since I've seen them. Uh, you know, my cousins, they grew up, and everybody's just all old now. Uh, interesting fact is that me and my two cousins, uh, we're age order. We've always been age order. So, the way that it goes is, uh, my younger cousin is one year younger than me, than me, and then my older cousin is one year older than me. So, in the current moment, 20, 21, 22. And it's just how it's always been. You know, even when we get in trouble and we get, you know, uh, spankings or whoopings, it would, it would, it would always be, you know, you get how many licks, how old you are, <laughs> and, of course, the younger cousin would always cry the most, and we all get them at him. But like, you got you got less looks than we did. Why are you crying for? It? <laughs> so uh, it would be pretty good to see them. Like I said, I haven't seen them since we were children. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how they've been. I know they moved out. You know, I definitely don't live with my aunt anymore. My aunt is uh, taking care of uh, 
my oldest oldest cousin because she has other children but it's the predominantly the younger cousin and the older cousin the ones that i was really close to because they were the same age uh but she also had a, a daughter who's much older much older uh cousin and then another son who's much older and he was the kind of you know older older cousin bully older brother you know so yeah so she's actually taking care of his children i don't know where he's at it's none of my business but uh yeah so she actually came by she just randomly showed up at the house just you know, I was just chilling, watching YouTube videos. All of a sudden, she just rang the doorbell and she was like, "Oh, hi!" It's like, "Hello!" <laughs> like, "Where? What is this? What's this occasion?" So, that's actually kind of interesting for that to occur. So, what's this card effect? You target, uh, you could discard this card and target one blind. Okay, so you're really not doing anything. And then you, when you card is known summon, you can special summon one, uh, like tuna monster from your hand. You can target one effect once you control it into the graveyard and could do special summon one blue eyes monster from your hand. I actually talked shit about this guy. I was like, guard is kind of shitty, but you know, when you play this blue eyes deck, you notice it. You get blue eyes in your hand like crazy. So if you can go ahead and just target one of your effect monsters and then just summon blue eyes, he's actually not that bad. You know, a lot of shit, shit was talked about him. And uh, I, 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 I apologize. I apologize to you, guard. You're actually not that bad. Uh, well, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, so you're normal something. Normal something's fine, you know. So you're gonna go ahead. You can target yourself. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't specify. I thought he had to be a different monster. It doesn't even have to be a different monster. So straight up, you just summon this guy, target himself, and then he's gonna go ahead and summon you a blue eyes. That's that's some power, I must say. That's some power. Well, this only has one more turn on it, which I, of course I can wait. So you know what? I think I'll just go ahead and flip it up this random use. Like I really don't feel like dealing with blue eyes right now. While I could just, you know. You know, honest through your blue eyes. I don't want you to go any farther than that. You know, I don't want you to go into your synchro summon and do all of that. So first, get through my vanities, and then I'll deal with you with my other card at one. Oh, and he's just gonna summon his dragon back. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. So if you're gonna go ahead and do that, then I guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, activate my effect, and banish myself to go ahead and summon Slip, and then pop you in the back row. That way, I'm not scared of your Labradite Dragon, because your Labradite Dragon ain't going to be stronger than me. Pop that other back row. Oh, just another call. So, and that works. That literally works. So I was just like, you know what? You're, just, you're summoning your Alexandra Dragon to get over my farm girl, so let me just go ahead and summon something farm, stronger than my farm girl. Uh, still like the lamp, blocking me from back row, especially when I don't have anything to hop out of the way with. And pretty much, I mean, that's minus 800, so, you know, if you summon this, anything that's what? What, 2200 or less? 2200 or less, Swarm Girl's gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna kill you, you know, attack, during damage step, Lance. You take that damage, you're dead, I'm gonna get the search. So, uh, not bad, definitely not bad. I'm just gonna take it slow. I mean, there's really no point in me uh, going fast, overextending. I got to do a lockdown. His source is gonna go, and then next turn I'm gonna push for more damage, you know? Run you over, pack over you, you're gonna take damage. Oh, well, you're probably gonna go to defense mode, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. You know? Oh, it's just gonna tribute both of them to Blue Eyes. Ooh, hmm. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. You want to kill my freaking uh, what's it called? Oh, I forgot that when this card is summoned, he gets the ban. I totally forgot that he does that. I totally forgot that he does that. The white spirit. Totally forgot. No, that's fine. I'll take it. Oh, but now vanities is gone and I can't play it. Mm. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna float like no, because when you try to go off, vanities is still on the field. Damn it, I'm just messing up all over the place. But yeah, I'm still winning, and that's just how good Cosmos are. <laughs> Alright, got my terraforming, so I'll go ahead and get my uh, Cosmo Town, which of course we know is a great filled spell. You know, we love us some Cosmo Town. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get one of my banished farm girls back. Why not? Why not? Alright. Thank god I have Honest. If I didn't have Honest, I'd just be screwed right now. Like I said, dealing with the attack of big monsters just the snuggles real at times. So I'm gonna attack, response. You know I'm gonna do a drum step, but got that out. Okay, so you're just gonna mirror force me. Oh, I could have lanced! Oh my god, I could have lanced and then could have honest. You know what? If I lose this duel, that's all my fault. I could have lanced and then could have honest. That was dumb. That was dumb. That one mirror force fucked me up. Like, wow. That was dumb. You know, if he has the game, if he's able to beat me right now, then. I deserve it, because that was dumb. And it looks like you might be able to. Ancient rules, summon blue eyes. Ancient rules, good. Like, yeah, some, there's some... Now, is this card just one more card just to top it off? 
are you really gonna use all all your cards to beat me because I fucked up? Like, wow, no, all right, that's not game then. It's a nice chunk, and of course, I'm playing Cosmos, I pay life points. But I'm, I'm playing my Jirigito and my Forerunner, so, you know, I'm, pay a five, you know, I'm paying 500 to get the search on, so that's gonna be a thing. Okay, that was dumb of me. That was really dumb of me. <laughs> that was like, extremely dumb of me. And some farm girl again. Emergency teleport. I mean, I think I only have straw man left, which is not terrible. It's just not great either. So, so attack. Watch him have honest. That'd be hilarious if he also had honest. Well, actually, because the trend is like backwards, so I would just be beefier than him in the end. Go ahead and get my search on. I'll pick the 500. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a bank destroyer. My bank destroyer. Blow up that blue eyes. Like we're still okay. Still okay. So, activate my effect, switch out. So, yeah, my aunt just showed up out of nowhere. Uh, odd seeing her, really was. And then seeing my second cousins, who I have not seen in years. Of course, I, when I saw, the last time I saw them, they were little girls. I mean, now they're much older, much, much older. I haven't seen them in a cool minute as well. So, it looks like I'm sitting okay right now. You know, looks like I was able to turn around the duel. Just because of powerful ass dank destroyer. <laughs> wow, and then he just rips fucking swords out the ass. Like that's fine. Uh yeah, that's fine. I'm not sure if Forbidden Lance works on swords. Wow. And I now and I get limited removal too? Like, holy crap. Wow, so he just rips swords and he's able to survive. That, that top deck though, the top deck swords was too strong. Debating on whether I should set it or not, and there's really no downside to setting it. I guess, I mean, if he tries to, like, crash a blue eyes into me. Actually, that'd be kind of bad if he does that. If he summons a blue eyes and crashes into me, I could just summon, you know, we'll both die, and I'll just go ahead and summon what's slip, and then pop his sword and attack him directly at the game, so. It's not very wise for him to summon blue eyes on me. That would be dumb, so. I guess he's just gonna wait out his three turns. Oh, never mind. I'm, oh, never mind. Let me go ahead and. Target over my banished cause monsters, give me back my farm girl, banish my farm girl, summon slip, pop swords, tight game. So, even though I fucked up, I, on sites 2020, I still was able to pull it off. So, farm girl go, summon slip. Like I said, I, they, like, they, they took down the slip, I think they dropped, Dex are dropping slip down to two to play do uh, dog. Uh, no, no, dog is booty. Slip is good, it means popping back row. And that's just beautiful. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and get another duel in. Be right back. All right, back. Oh, also, uh, uh, thank Remy for uh, taking my place on uh, day under daily duels yesterday. I apologize. I, I was, I was so hungry and oh my god, like I was shaking, shaking. When it comes to my blood sugar, if my blood sugar gets low, I get terrible. I get, I get terrible. And I was at that point, so I was like, Remy, take over from me. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Like, please, man. I'm like dying over here. <laughs> I'm like dying, man. So, I, I mean, I could summon Farm Girl, and then summon Slip, Pop, attack his monster, emergency teleport, summon my other Farm Girl, attack, search my Cosmo Town, and get my Farm Girl right back to my hand, so it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. As long as he doesn't fuck up my Farm Girl, which I have a feeling he might just do. So, Farm Girl, go ahead and tag out. Slip. Pop that back row for me. Clean up that back row. Remember that. It says slip. I like that. I like slip. Oh my god. Bottomless? Yeah, I'm gonna lance. I'm gonna lance. Like I said, block from back row. Block from back row. Because I need to float. I obviously need to float. Now I'm only 1500. That's pretty bad. Now the question is, is whether I want to play Honest to get over his set monster. Okay. Well, might as well see what it is. First. It's literally nothing. It's just people running about. Like, what is that? I can get that trash out of here. Go ahead and emergency teleport, get that farm girl, get some more damage, and get that search on man. Like, wow. <laughs> See, look at that Lance, putting in that work, like, the, da the damage, and, oh my god. Like, there's a reason why Lance is still one of my favorite spell cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, yes, block from that back row, and, uh, you know, affect that attacking. Go ahead and get that idea in my farm girl back. And then when he tries to fuck up my farm girl, I got honest, so. You got bottomless, I got warning. <laughs> 
Oh my god, every single time I forget that I get banished. Every single time I just I, I just constantly forget. What does this do? Pay under like wait to four cards to top your deck, especially some of these many level three or lower normal monsters and the cards you take and turn or whatever. Mirror Force, that card, that card, oh that card. Wow. So you just you went neg. You got nothing in return. Holy crap. That must suck. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, interestingly, my aunt invited me to, uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, Thanksgiving dinner. So, uh, this Thursday, I mean, I really wasn't having anything planned. But, uh, yeah, I was invited to go ahead and join them. My cousins will be there. The cousins I haven't seen in years since we were children are going to be there. It should be great. Uh, the only problem is, and it's like a super big problem, is that their house is, like, literally on the other side of town. Like, my locals... Well, the locals I used to go to when I back when I played Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, it's pretty far, pretty 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 far, uh, past that, past that, like far. Uh, can I wrap this duel up? I think I might be able to just wrap this duel up with uh, Jera, which just shows that Jera is still the goodness. <laughs> no. Oh, well, if I would activate your effect, then I guess I could've popped him and then got more damage in, but I think this is still game. Let's go ahead and summon Jera and get that additional 17, because why not? No, no, you don't need to do your damage calculation thing. Just attack for game for me, Jera. Then I personally think that you're you're still good. I don't, I don't know, they took you out when they got all the other Cosmo Monsters, but you still do a job that no other uh, Cosmo Monster can really do, and that's increasing the attack, increasing your consistency uh, of OTK and wrapping it up. I mean, that additional 17 and, you know, the plus 1,000, that's not bad either. So, and he's a level 4, so more rank 4 plays if necessary, but I get it. I get why he was played before, and I understand why I think he should stay. Alright, one more duel, one more duel, at least. Be right back. Alright. So far, I've been pretty lucky, opening up some bonuses and everything. Alright. Ten's not bad. Ten's not bad at all. Just depends on what he's using and what he has, but, you know, I got the Dark Hole, I got the Emergency Teleport, grab the Farm Girl, like, I got the plays, so I got the plays already. Oh, god, Defender. Does that even really affect this deck? Like, no, not really. Like, I, I like to get banished. Actually, that's even better. Defender's actually great, because generally, when Cosmos, the problem is that my monsters are in the graveyard. Uh, mm, what is this, like? Skill Drain Beast King Barbados dot deck or something? Like, what? Hello? What is this? Alright, so we'll just go ahead and summon Wicked Witch because she's awesome. So, whatever your back row is, I got the lance to block it. Unless it's Solemn Warning, then, you know, fuck. But I have still have emergency teleport. Bottomless, wow, bottomless again. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hop out the lane. I could, you know, block to, uh, because it does say destroy, then banish. Wow, so it opens up bottomless and uh D figure. That's 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 funny. You can pop that for me. No, no, no. you're not gonna bottomless me. No 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 no. So uh, I'm not sure if I can wrap this duel up in one turn. I don't believe I can, but we can try. I might have been able to if I didn't fuck up, because I could have went activate Cosmo Town. I mean terraform and get my Cosmo Town. Then got her back to my hand. Attack with Farm Girl. Then Farm Girl switch out for Wicked Witch and then Wicked Witch. And I said, I'm not sure if I can wrap the duel up in one turn. I don't think I can. Oh yeah, but then I could have got Dark Destroyer to Yeah, I, I yeah, I could I could have I could have OTK. Uh, wow, hindsight's 2020 when it comes to this deck and me. And OTK. I'm not good. I'm, I apologize, people. I know you guys want to tear your hair out and you're just like, damn, you're fucking terrible. You don't even know what the fuck you're doing. Like, and you try to do the thing you're doing. So I can either go ahead and destroy him and he will go off. You're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh uh, yeah, I could have, I could have OTK. Oh, that sucks. Farm Girl, I can get the search once per turn or I can only like, switch one. I think I can only like, search one per turn, but I, get, I can get the search as much as I want, so. Might as well summon another farm girl and get more damage and get another search, because why not? Like, that's not even a bad play. Like Dark Destroyer being able to destroy monsters, period, including their own, which is so good. It's just so good. But of course I can only use stuff to switch out farm girl once per turn, so that's totally fine. So just give me something that I can pull it upon farm girl and that's fine. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. A car has not been, you know, the best of cars. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because Fuck. 
Yep, yep, yep. I could have won. I could have OTK'd. I could, yeah. I could have FTK'd. But I'm bad. <laughs> I'm bad. That's all I had to do, which is Cosmo Town get back my uh, Wicked Witch, and then that would have been an additional, you know, 19. <coughs> Oops. So go ahead and do that. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and give me my slip. Just in case he sets him back row, I can just go ahead and pop it during his turn. Like, Definitely good. I can tell that how this is, you know, the second best deck of the format right now. I ran under Pepe. Pepe can kind of give this deck a hard time, especially with the whole, oh, okay, we target. Alright, I'm just gonna go for a miss there and fuck your day, so. But that's all you're gonna do is set. Wow. Alright. Like, does Necro Valley even do anything? I think it actually does, because the cards that need to play this player should not be banished, so I can't even resolve my Cosmo Monsters effects, like my bigger ones. When this card is destroyed, battle on a card pack, since it's a graveyard, I banish it to then summon one of my smaller ones from my deck, but I can't even do that with freaking, uh, yeah, I mean, you might as well scoop, because I can just slip and pop anyway, so, yeah. You know, I feel like one more duel. I feel like one more duel, so, yeah. I fucked up the, the OTK, the FTK, so to make up for it, I'm gonna try to, try to think, think more OTK-ish in this next duel. We'll, we'll get one more in, be right back. Alright, definitely the last duel, alright. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck him. I'm gonna OTK him. Just think. Every single combo that you can pull off, just think. Oh wow, he made me go first. Ugh, and this hand is not that good either. Not that good to say the least. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take it kind of slow. I mean, I could summon Good Witch and then Good Witch. I only run one Good Witch because, you know, Wicked Witch kind of replaced Good Witch. So she's kind of meh at the moment. I'm playing one Good Witch, one Scarecrow. I mean, Scarecrow, Strawman. Wizard of Oz, yeah, it's Strawman. Uh, just because you're not as good as, you know, Wicked Witch. You know, if this is a Wicked Witch, then I would be having, like, no problem just summoning her. If it's Good Witch, I mean, I'm kind of afraid that my opponent's just gonna be like, oh, you're playing Cosmos? Well, let me just go ahead and throw this Dark Hole or Gecky at you, so. I guess I'll go ahead and do it just because I have Slip, so I can go ahead and just be like, ha, Slip, pop, you know? So, if I need to pop some back row during uh, my opponent's turn, and that's pretty good, but I wish this was Wicked Witch over Good Witch any day. You know? That's just, that's just number generator right there. Like, bottomless and with, with Good Witch both at one in my deck. Like, yeah. I said she just kind of got replaced, you know. It's like, ooh, pay 800 life points to be a Book of Moon. Only during your turn, okay. But Wicked Witch is like, that's a 1900 beater that can block from battle and... See? That's exactly what I was expecting. That's exactly what I was fucking expecting. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask myself. I was like, watch him just throw the Regeki. See if this is Wicked Witch? That was Wicked Witch right there. Bam! I tell my effect, pays its life points. I ah, you can't be destroyed by battle by card effect. Wouldn't be a phase by your Regeki, but because I'm Good Witch, I'm about to get wrecked. Thank God I'm playing Lance. That's, Lance is just saving my biscuits in this duel. <laughs> saving my buns. So he just tried to throw the Regeki. I mean, I knew he's gonna have it. I knew it. I knew he's gonna either be playing Dark Hole and throw Dark Hole me, or he's just gonna get Regeki. So, whew! And then I blocked it, and now I get to go off. Oh, now I get Dank Destroyer too. I get Dank Destroyer too. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I might just summon Jira. Why not? Summon Jira, gain them like points, and then attack with Jira. Ooh. Oh, well, he's gonna get one draw out of me. That's good. <laughs> It's a damage in. I got greedy with you. I probably didn't even have to summon you. That was just my fault. I was like, I got greedy with the damage. Like I said I wouldn't have been gaming with I couldn't even, you know, banish to summon one of you two. I wouldn't have done much. Even if I banish you summon 3,000 and attack and use your effect to increase you by like, 4, you still have 500 left, so. <sighs> At least show me what deck you're playing before you lose. Because so far, I mean, Regeki. Oh, you're playing. Death spots. Okay. Wow, so my bottom list ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> my bottom list ain't gonna do shit. Because I know you're gonna summon a whole bunch of monsters that are lower than 1500. I know you're definitely gonna summon death spots that are lower than that. Oh, I'm just gonna wait right now. Dude, these don't even get any benefits, so you're literally just searching right now. It's not like uh, uh, 5 and 6 where you actually get a benefit off of them. Like, Alright. So yeah, I'll go. I'll go. I'll drive my car down there. It'll be a hell of a ride, but I, I will drive all the way down there. Alright, so now it's Death Spot 6, and I'm assuming that he's going to go ahead and pendulum something Death Spot 5, and then pop my back row, which is 
bottom list, which I really couldn't use. Oh no, he's gonna play Death Spot 5. Uh, Death Spot 6, Death Spot 5. <coughs> Phantom Summon Dumb 2 back, and uh, all of this back. So, okay. Death Spot 5. I mean, Death Spot 8, Death Spot 7. Anything in your hand that you want to summon as well? Is that it? No, 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 you're just gonna go the defensive route, you're just gonna summon those two, and then that's it. Alright, well, that's game then, because <laughs> I know I can definitely wrap this duel up now. Like, if that's all you're gonna do is just summon these death spot monsters in defense mode and cower and fear, like, nigga, you're the one that's supposed to be OTKing me, like, what is this, hello? Oh, well, I guess I have to kill death spot 7, because he says that the opponent cannot target death spot monsters for attacks, except for this one, so... I guess I'll fuck 7 up, and then I'll go ahead and fuck 8 up, and then I'll attack you directly, get my search, and then whoop your butt. So yeah, that's it, that's game. You got wrecked. I don't know, you just, oh, you didn't open up that well. <coughs> kind of threw the regeki at me, and then you cowered in fear, because you thought I had something else up my sleeve and came to good witch. That Lance, that Lance, like I said, that Lance. Yeah, I like Lance, Jurgito's okay, but Lance is good, Jurgito's fine. And like I said, I'm going back to this route, and fuck that reasoning route, I don't like that. And I also didn't like the cards that I had to play with the reasoning to combo with the reasoning. Like, nah. Like, you know, I'm playing MST, like, why? I can play Lance and block the back row and then do the damage step shit, you know? You know, play the, uh, you know, play the breakthrough skill because you're going to mill with the reason anymore. Just play, you know, actually good cards like Solemn Warning and, you know, cards that are better. I mean, breakthrough skill is bad, it's probably going to go back up in popularity when it's energy comes out because you can go, you know, breakthrough skill during your opponent's turn and it's going to send your graveyard and then when your opponent sends you, you just like breakthrough skill and your infinity and then I'm going to wreck it, you know. So breakthrough skill is probably going to go up in popularity, but, you know, I can play notice. I can play notice you know, and get benefit out of it instead of reasoning and then mill the notice and be like, oh, that's gone. So, I don't know, just me personally. Anyway, this is a fun video, so. Uh, now you guys know what I'm doing on Thanksgiving. Go ahead in the comment section below. Go ahead and tell me what you guys are planning on doing this Thanksgiving. Alright? I hope that you guys eat lots of dick. And by dick, I mean turkey and ham and whatever you eat for Thanksgiving. Dick. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, so, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be tagging with Tiago using Kaiser deck, hopefully being able to summon it. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing on Dev Pro or YJ Pro, whatever Tiger prefers. I got them all. And uh, hopefully be able to summon Kaiser. I wanted to summon him last week, and Dev Pro was just being laggy and bad, and that was not the greatest of you uh, videos with Daily Duels. Apologize for that. But, you know, and everything's fine. Alright, so, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.